I'm Jim Scobby. I'm Director of the Clinical Audiology Speech and Language Research Centre. In the Research Excellence Framework of 2014, our research was judged internationally excellent or world-leading. The centre studies speech language and hearing in English and other languages and what we're aiming to do is to develop a better understanding of typical functioning but also how that can be applied to deal with communicative disorders of all kinds. Can you spin round for me just a little minute just so we can get the headset on? That's better. One of our major innovations has been in the use of ultrasound and we use that for imaging the tongue so that we can study the movement of the tongue within the mouth during speech. Mm. Perfect, do that again. See that shape there, Emily? Do you see that? That's the perfect shape. That's exactly what we need. For the children, it's really useful because they're able to see their tongue moving in real time. So they can see their own tongue on the screen and they can get the feedback from that about where to move their tongue to in relation to different parts of, on the screen so that they can achieve a new sound. Back is really low and the front's coming up nice and high. Mm. Okay. Listen. Did you hear that? Do you hear how good that was? Listen to this bit here. I think it's great having a balance between research and clinical practice because you're able to utilise your skills across both environments. Everything that I'm learning in my academic career, I'm then transferring into clinical practice and vice versa. The, the skills that I've learned from working for the NHS have been brought into my research as well. So I think it's really great having the balance between the two. We have close associations with two spin-out companies, Articulate Instruments with its engineering expertise. They uh, export their software and hardware all around the world. And FitVoice, which is a community interest company that promotes voice health in professional voice users. More information is available on the QMU website or click the link below. We welcome inquiries from visiting researchers or potential masters or doctoral students.